Hi everybody, welcome to my studio. Karen Birchill, Creative Katie here. So today I'm going to do a little bit of a different video. Instead of showing you um, how I'm creating an index card, what I'm going to do is show you and share with you the process that I go through to unpack the prompts. How I get inspiration from the prompts and maybe that process will work for you and or maybe it will give you some ideas and you will find your own way of unpacking the prompts. Now Daisy Yellow posts the prompts every Wednesday so and they start on the Saturday for the week or the, for this year. So that gives you a little bit of lead time. So in there, like Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, that's when I'm unpacking the next week's prompts. I'm starting to look at them and see where it takes me and get some ideas for the next week. Now, I've already given myself permission to not do any prompt that doesn't inspire me. So I'm not going to feel pressured into that. And you can do that. Daisy Yellow says you can do that. And you know what? It's your creative journey. So do what works for you. I've also decided that if I don't have any inspiration from the prompt, I'm going to use the theme that I am using in my quote journal right now, which for, for this month is um, Be You. Next month it will be something else. So I'll have a selection of quotes there that I can also use for inspiration. So I'm going to turn the camera down and I am going to walk you through the steps that I typically take when I'm unpacking prompts. Okay, so when Daisy Yellow posts the prompts, what I do is I write them down into my book. So here are week two prompts. Goggles, macaroon, sapphire, palm, tapestry, balcony, thread. And I write that down. And right off the bat, I, I joggle or I write down anything that clicks right away. So, you know, goggles, glasses, rose-colored glasses, vision, um, kind of thing. Macaroon, and I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on each one. Macaroon, um, you know, pastry. Uh, you know, I'm thinking, uh, yeah, I don't, there's nothing there. I'm just going to, so I'm going to move on. You know, so sapphire, that may be the color scheme. I might just have that deep, dark blue, um, navy, uh, navy with this, with silver or gold or, so this is more, that one's more design, right? That might be the color scheme or a design element, right? Silver, gold. I might use my gold flakes with that one because that's something I have. So again, it's it's guiding me, it's inspiring me. Palm, we have palm of your hand. You've got life in the palm of your hand. And oh, you know, palm tree. So I'm going, going tapestry. Now, when I think of that, I am thinking of, so tapestry, I'm, I automatically think of this picture of this lady, you know, I just, the brocade or, you know, that's just the feel that I get. So I'm just going to put that down there for some reason. Now, whether that's correct or absolutely tapestry, it doesn't matter. You could start with the prompt and end up with a very literal interpretation. If the prompt was dragonfly, you end up putting a dragonfly. Uh, last, last week, one of the prompts was mint, and you could end up with having a mint there. Or what I did is I used the 
mint design in my prompt in my that was what inspired me so you know where you end up is perfectly legitimate no matter how you get there or how far away it may actually seem from the prompt and you're going to see that balcony ooh, i have nothing there but romeo and juliet thread sewing um, my mom's a seamstress, so I'm just going to put mom. Now, once I've done that, I've done a quick brainstorm. What I'm going to do is go to the internet. And, you know, I'm going to go to Pinterest. And I'm going to put in some of these words you know and just see what kind of images i get you know there's all these goggles you know that doesn't appeal to me it may appeal to you there's something here about steampunk goggles and if you're a steampunk fan that may be the tangent that you take on you know with goggles i'm going to put um rose colored glasses quotes now, sometimes, you know, I'm going to look for two things. I'm going to look for images, so maybe clip art or just art. And I'm also going to look for quotes that are related to that term. So there's rose color. Oh, there we go. We have this one. What we, dep what we see depends mainly on what we look for. So I might then save it to a folder that I have for iCADs that I've made for iCADs. Now, if I scroll down here, I'm going to get either related ones, same theme, or I might get ones by the same creator. And sometimes I find other quotes that I do like, and I'm a collector of quotes, so I will save those to my inspiration folder. So we have that. You know, there's different ones. I may save them, and I'm going to save it under iCAD quotes. And we're just going to, you know, we we do not see things as we are. We see thing. We do not see things as they are. We see things as we as we are. Now I know I have iCAD. 2019 here so I might just kind of do that and again I'm not spending a huge amount of time I, I'm trying to do this fairly quickly um, I might type in something from a quote might seeing quotes eyes you don't need eyes to see, you need vision, if that appeals to you. So I'm going to go through, again, which quotes resonate with me is going to be different than which quotes resonate with you. And we might end up in a very, very different place. Shut your eyes and see. So... I'm going to go, go along that room. And then I might just keep adding notes on here as I keep going. So if I type in, I didn't have a whole lot for macaroon, so I'm going to type that in. And right off the bat, you're going to see, you know, we have all these macaroons and I'm going okay what do I see I you know they are round circles so I might do circles I might do round layers um you know and then I get you know macaroons are Paris and then I'm thinking oh okay I have this Paris stamp so I'm going to write that down now I may use one of these spin-off ideas inspired by her prompt, I may use none, right? Um, I'm not in any way. This, this might work for Paris too. It's very, you know, 
in my mind, right? And again, that's it's your associations. It's what you are bringing to the prompt that's going to make or break it. And what you bring to the prompt and your associations with it are the right ones. There is no right and wrong. So, you know, I'm happy with that because I can just do circles or layers or round and, oh, you know, the other thing is, you know, very lots of pastel. So I might, that might be a color scheme that I'm going to do. Sapphire color scheme, I can see navy, silver, gold, something in there. It's going to look very regal in my mind. I mean, I could get jewelry, rings, something along that line. If I have magazine pictures of that and I could tie that in, that's not something I have. Now remember, at the beginning and throughout the challenge, I'm going through magazines or my folders that have clip art or I've kind of flipped through my stamps and my stencils to familiarize myself with what I have so that when I'm doing this brainstorming session, I'm going to remember, oh, I have this, oh, I have this, because one of the goals too is to use what you have in your stash. Oh, I with macaroons, I have my French script stamp, so I'm just going to write that down here as well. Palm. So, you know, when I type in palm trees, you know, and I might do clip art, and I'm going, you know, we'll be able to get a printable. So again, we have different shapes and sizes uh, of them. You know, I might save them, I might design them, I might buy something on you know, a cut file for my silhouette or look for a free cut file for my silhouette. Okay, so we've got, you know, you've got the visual, the pictures for the focal image. You know, and I'm just going to, you know, and I just did, I've, I've got, been collecting a lot of tropical um, cut files lately, so I might just do that. I like how we have the circle here with the palm tree and maybe a silhouette. So I'm going to, oops. Save this to my iCAD 2019 file. And I'm just gonna write down here sunset circle you know I'm, I'm just quickly getting I'm not looking for something that I can copy I'm looking for things that are going to give me ideas and then I you know I'm going to sit for a few times the lady the tapestry if I do that one that one's not really speaking to me but if I was doing this I would pick one of my BU quotes that go with this lady so that might be balcony Romeo and Juliet you know I went through again it's it's not really speaking to me so that may be a prompt that I'm going to just substitute my own prompt I may in the search of this I may find a quote that I really like, and that's going to inspire what I might use here. So, you know, these ones are, are visions. This one, I think I found a quote for seeing. Thread. Now, when you do thread, I came up with, you know, sewing. Mom, my mom, she makes quilts. So as I'm looking, you know, and I type in, You know, and I'm thinking, okay, what I did get, and I don't know where, you know, because I did go through this. When you're hanging on by a thread, make sure, you know, 
this and so these are some, then I go once I get if I get those quotes then what I do is I go to my word program and I'm typing in um, some quotes and sentiments a single thread of hope is still a very powerful thing was one of them or beautiful things come together one stitch at a time or when life gives you scraps make a quilt so I pick you know, sometimes you find the perfect one quote, sometimes you don't know. I, and right now, I don't know what's, where I'm going to go with this. Uh, I like all three of those. I like this one because when I think threads, I think my mom, she makes, you know, beautiful handmade quilts. Um, and then I'm thinking with that, we ha I have a stencil. right here that kind of reminds me of a quilt so I'm thinking I might do that so I might I'm going to write that down in my book quilt stencil and then you've got the design feature as well as the you know thing I could also do collage I can do like paper cutting and make like a quilt block and you can get patterns on Pinterest for different designs and pat and then I can do that with my gel prints so I have tons of ideas I've taken the time to play with some of those quotes and I've printed them off this is just on thin copy paper nothing special you can also print it off onto uh, deli paper and there's a video that I've made showing how that works with the present printer and then there's one that I've made m several years ago on that one you're gonna have to maybe tweak it because every printer is a little different you could also print it out on these full sheet sh clear matte finish shipping labels which I love because then you get them like this and it's just kind of peel and stick so it's really quick and easy when you come to finishing it so I hope you found this useful give me a thumbs up how do you unpack the prompts how do you decide where the prompt is going to take you so you know don't worry because even if I go here like it's thread the word thread may not appear anywhere in there. There may not be thread. There may be a quilt. And it's related because it, me it means something to me. Your art journal page, your iCAD, is going to and should mean something to you. So you're, I hope you'll stay and watch and see which of these prompts I'm going to use and which of them I'm not. Sometimes I've had some from last week, like the mint one. I wasn't inspired at all when I did my little brainstorming session until I saw the visual of it and the, the design and I thought, oh, I have, a, I have a stencil that I can use. That's a design feature. I'm going to use it that way. Remember, this is your journey, your creative journey. Make it work for you. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, if you, I'd also love for you to pop over to Instagram and at Creative Katie and become one of my followers there. That way you will see all the art that I'm producing um, not just the ones that end up in a video. And for the iCADs, I'm not promising that there's going to be a video for each and every one. Some of them are very simple. There's not a lot or maybe it's repetitive. And I don't feel that it's offering you too much. But I still want to share what I am creating. So I hope you enjoyed this. Happy creating. Bye.